Hello everybody, Jordan here, and today we have another video, and today, as you can see, from this super clickbaity thumbnail that I've been planning for a long time, you know, it says a whole new scale, so, you bet you're curious from the thumbnail, what the heck do you, what are you talking about, Jordan, a whole new scale, what, what, what is this? Now, to kind of clear this up, the, the best way we can kind of- It's your mother. That's mean. The best, there he goes, the best way we can kind of, like, clarify this is, like, showing you, so, oh, okay. So, as you can see, prepare for a dramatic turn. So, as you see, yeah. so as you can see right here, we have a McDonnell Douglas MD-11. Now, I bet you're curious and you have a bunch of questions right now. One, why are there so many slabs? Two, why is it smaller? And three, who is that rat in the cockpit and what does he want? Well, and we- who is the, why did, did American really have MD-11? Yes, they did. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, first off, to kind of clear this off the table, yes, American Airlines operated the MD-11 if you didn't know about it. Check it out. If you, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, what you can do is you can drip a lock, like on the video. <laughs> drip like? Drip a lock. Drip a lock. Drip a lock. Way to go. Right. Okay, but as you can see, this is a whole new scale. Now, the scaling is, it's 1.5 to 1 scale. Now, before anybody says, Jordan, this is the wrong scale, this is actually 1.545475 to 1. I, 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 I've memorized the number since one of the planes was slightly out of scale, and I just said, you know, scale it all up to that scale. So, we like to say it's 1.5, but it's actually 1.545475. Math. Don't, don't take it for granted. So... Yeah, the planes are to scale, and we're kind of like rebranding ourselves, kind of moving to 1.51. Now, like, you have a bunch of questions right now, like, why are you doing- You guys are like literal flies flying around. Just like, Good. like, creating jitter and flying around. Miles over here adding the static that you have to have in a video. I'm he's sorry. just <laughs> taking up RAM. He, he's just sitting here adding static. Fine. <laughs> He's like, fine. Oh, he dies. And another question you may have. What about livery of the week? Well, we can get it's to that. It's dead inside. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, I bet you're wondering, why are you switching to the scale? Like, what, 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 why? Um, don't you have two to one? And why don't you, you're like, you're doing great in that. No, I bet you're wondering. The real reason is because, um, it's like, none of our airport projects are getting done. Like, none of them. I bet you've been wondering, hey, where's the next LAX update? What happened to Atlanta? What? Yeah, long story short, Atlanta, we restarted that. LAX, we got work done on it. You could probably make a video on it, but, like, none of us have touched it in, like, weeks at all. So. Yeah. Like, no. And I think... A booty butt. Taxes... We've all figured out that... Oh, um, yes. Is it, tax scale, is just, like... much more productive, as well as, like, the quality of the aircraft. Yeah, it's we find like, that it looks better because the two to one aircraft we we find it looks bigger than what two to one actually can be. Like yeah. our seven three sevens look like they're four or five to one. It's like kind of ridiculous how big they are. Yeah, and, like, and one point five to one for airports, we can get them much more faster, or we can get them much more. We can get them done faster than two to one, and we can spit out more projects. Mm-hmm. Like they pretty much just summed it up perfectly there. It's like, the a lot of the projects, like, I really, I try to, like, boil down to the problem. We had this little meeting. Believe it or not, we have our own headquarter building, and we like to have meetings in there. So, it's like, um, we sat down and said, what is our main problem why we are not finishing these projects? And, like, some of it was, you know, the scaling. Maybe what if we scaled it down and made it easier? Because, like, a while ago, um, me and Miles, we attempted to build a 1-1 scale Chicago Midway. There's a picture of it on the screen if you haven't seen it. You probably haven't. And... The, we were amazed we by like, done in like two or three days. We were amazed by like how we nearly finished the entire terminal in two days. And like, whoa, how, how that was fast, that was easy. And then we kind of said to ourselves, what if we like, kind of like jokingly, you know, scaled down or made it easier for us to do that? And it's like, we we randomly built That's the seven. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, we actually randomly started building in the seven three seven. We built a seven three seven in the scale. It looks great. And we cannot honestly why forget. Don't, oh, yeah, why don't we have a pull straw pull? Which one of which all of you guys want to, us to do more of? Want us to switch, or I mean, it doesn't stay? really matter if they switch. We've made like all the aircraft in the 1.51 scale, almost all of the aircraft. 
Except yeah, and it's kind of a, if you don't like it, too bad, but, yeah. You, we'll see. We'll see. Like, what? We'll see. We'll still be doing two the one aircraft, but not as much. But you'll still see two the one aircraft. Yeah. So for those of you who still are like, I hate this idea. I don't like it. Like, don't worry. We'll still have two to one scale planes. Um, I actually filmed a tutorial in the two to one scale already. You still have it. It's still there. No worries. But we're not deleting all of it. But we're gonna very we're slowly speaking, uh, phase out of it. Like what American so, does with their liveries. It's like, you know, you know, like Southwest in their 300s and like American in their MD-80s and I'm assuming United in their older planes. They they keep the planes in service, and stuff. but they're slowly taking it out. And that's what we're kind of doing. We're slowly saying, okay, we're using less and less of the scale moving on. Now, now a so lot I of... expect delivery of the week video is there in 1.5 to 1. Yeah. Not immediate, yeah. not like next week or something. But I mean, like, yeah. I'm talking months or like, yeah, months. Yeah. So to like kind of clarify, the main problem i guess you might be wondering is whoa you're working with slabs now you can't make liveries well believe it or not it's like it's it's if we found out it's really possible to make liveries like we've made more to love the alaska special liveries we've made so many liveries with this and it works perfectly fine it's like that yeah, we've made caleb orange pride and all that and it works fine hey, and it's, it, you shut up but but it it does give us a challenge with two Some to one it's just like oh just throw it together yeah, but in Two this one, it, it's it gives you a challenge. It's it's fun. Er. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, and you probably already see that's a KLM triple seven. And as you can see, like, granted, we don't have all the colors, but it still looks fine. It's, you still can clearly tell clearly to me that's you know KLM, and this is Lufthansa cargo. And like, granted, and we can easily retexture. Retexture because probably when once 1.12 is released, that's when we might you know just say you know what enough messing around and goofing around we need to kind of switch over and then have the new resources to use and that and everything but you know enough of that boring talk a lot of you guys are probably wondering like what about interiors and it's like yeah the detail of the planes because like as you can see the doors are like completely new they're more accurate and everything um a few Size guys we might remember this from the aviator cube days but and then aviator cube days we used it and then after that ended we completely dropped it my mic's falling wow now, a lot of you guys might remember, like I like I just said, Aviator Cube Days dropped it when he was done. Well, excuse me, when she was done, dropped it during that time, and then apparently when apparently it seems like Aviator Cube's dead at this point, and you're like, you know what? Let's bring it back. Let's see what how this works and everything. Yeah, and we gotta we give our up really liking it. Yeah, we gotta give our props over here to Sonic Service who kind of like reignited the plug, you know, of saying, you know what, guys, try something new, really. So I, I see you, mate. Shout out there. But it's like, you know, the interiors still work. We still have plenty of detail. In fact, we usually have more detail in these aircraft. Yeah. No. We don't want any tension. We are, we are, we're already pretty heated. We're a fair taxiway. We don't do that. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, it's like, um, the, the aircraft, they still have plenty of detail. And everything like as I'm walking through this American MD-11, you still it still has plenty of detail as if this is two to scale, two excuse me 2.1 to scale, and everything still has plenty of detail. The flight decks have plenty of detail, like you know they still do, and everything. So Th this is basically the size of like our 73 cockpit. Yeah, really. And like a really big thing, I kind of well, wanna, it's like, the size of pretty much every single one that we have. Yeah. Just the ceiling's a bit higher. What I really want to like point out though is like our two to one scale planes, they're not two to one scale. That's a huge problem. It's like I did the map. Like I said before, they're not scale. They're, they're, they're not. They're more of an aesthetic aircraft. They're just there for looks. It's now, like since we've gotten bigger, uh, I think we've all decided that we got stuff over gaining and actually have aircraft that are two scale and look good. So that's partially the one point five to one switch. Mhm. Mm exactly. Mm -hmm. Like. Our, our 737s, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it's closer to like 3 to 1 than actually 2 to 1. Oh, well, see you, Tex. Well, you, you, you had a good Hi, run. Hi, Gets quieter. Yay! Anyways, if you, you pretty much you pretty much know what we mean by why we're switching, so we'll let you guys see what we mean with our 737s that, that are coming up. Let's get to it. Boom! You'll see the uh, new planes very soon, like, expect 
and I also kind of, you know, like, a lot of it's kind of, like, the video started to, like, drag on more as, like, a reasons why and stuff. Yeah, you, you know but what? We, we should, we should have, like, a little, we should have, like, a little talk show of this. Let, let's put a quick talk show building. Now that we're kind of in a more formal area, believe it or not, we have an office building for these types of things. I know, we have too much time on our hands. This is why we don't have girlfriends. Anyway, um... So it's like the real thing. Are you like just eating your mic? Probably is. Who me? Yes, you. No. Nah. Anyways, we just have a couple more points to say, and we'll actually get on with the okay. video. Okay. Now, also at this point, sorry for all the static from Miles' thing. He's like using a different recording thing, but he'll unmute his mic when he's ready, so you'll hear fuzz at points. Now, like the yeah. real reason towards like switching like as we listed the points it's easier for airports we can get them done faster the accuracy of the planes we still have the accuracy it's still there and it's also kind of more fun like we all like a lot of the build team we all kind of miss the vibe of where we say hey we haven't made this plane let yet let's make it make liveries for it because at this point with two to one scale we have pretty much made all the real ones besides like the few russian airliners and all that besides that we've made pretty much all of them and that kind of like kills the fun really Especially with livery. Hashtag show Russia some love. Especially with like Piggy because Piggy's like more of a livery person and then when you've made pretty much every livery possible for something, it, it gets dull. So it's like we're kinda trying to make what you what you're actually specifically made for. So we kinda get to like reinvent the wheel I guess I guess. Oh that's a nice flower. And everything. It's more fun. And like all of our planes currently are not to scale, like our old method that kind of was introduced when Rowan joined the team and everything was, if it looks good, it's good. But that that's not cutting it anymore. It's like, at this point, the MD-80s are like, in like, I don't know, like 3 to 1, while the 737s are like 2.8 to 1. The A320s are like 2.6 to 1. And you see how this starts jumping around, and then it starts creating problems. So, it's like the triple sevens for all we know, could be more so like um, 4 to 1 or 3 to 1 because they're not accurate and that's what we're trying to do the planes are going to be accurate the things going to be accurate and it's like they're more organized like our air the, the download for this when it comes it's going to be super organized like you're going to know where it is um because let's be real our current download it's not organized at all um but the new world download when it comes for this most scale, people call it plane hopping in the world ah. oh so funny. i've heard of that yeah it's like, this new world download, it's like, there's a separate line for everything. There's a 737, 700, 800, 900, Max 7, Max 8 line, and so on. Like, there's a separate A330, 300, A330, 200 line. So there's no longer this problem where it's so unorganized. Because let's be, our main world, you have to go all the way down a stupid line just to get to 757s. You don't want to do that. that, that's a waste. And like, the, we have the same, it's so, it's organized, it's clean, and we like that, because... If I wanted to like reorganize all of our planes again, that it feels like it's you might as well start over from scratch. So to kind of close this video kind of up as you know it's kind of getting a little long, um, be on the lookout for new stuff, new scales, and new that. Um, we'll still keep two to one, but we're gonna phase it out a little bit, stop using it and everything. People like Rowan, he's not phasing, he's he's not budging at all. So that's kind of what we mean by slowly phasing. Like some some of the build team, believe it or not, don't want to move and. Because of that, that's why we're not making this like immediate and saying, uh, oh look, we gotta move immediately. But yeah. So, in any closing remarks? Walking on the table. Oh, uh, well, I just think that up to you guys, comment below. It, we're gonna do it anyways, but comment below how fast you want it, how fast you yeah. want it to phase out or not. Like, give your thoughts on the new scale. It's like, it's like, regardless, we're still gonna continue with it, but it's like, give us your thought. Do you hate the idea of it? Do you like the idea of it? you think it's cool that we're doing it and so forth because it's like it's really you guys that the main people who matter for it because it's like i'm kind of sick and tired of saying um okay guys you know that airport that everybody was all excited for and wanted to download yeah it's what dead yeah it's dead and that's getting kind of annoying at this point so we started a new airport again and yeah but this time you'll, you'll find out in what what it is you'll find out about this new airport very soon and um, you'll also see how much progress has been done. Like, insane amounts of progress has been done on the airport. Uh, we've actually finished our first terminal and moving to the next one. And that's kind of a hint right there that it has multiple terminals. So, 
yeah, ticked on the hint right there. So if, if you want to start playing the guessing game and saying, hey, what airport are you building? Um, here, here you go. Emirates flies there. Boom. Let's just say that. Okay, that works actually. I, I was going to say something a little more obvious, but sure. Um, Emirates flies to the airport and it has multiple terminals. Good luck. You, you're going to need it probably. So. What well, oh. just can we guess it? Dubai, 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 Dubai. Okay, yeah. sorry about that, guys. Everybody's gonna start guessing Dubai, 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 yeah. Dubai, Dubai. But who says we're not doing Dubai that. though? That that was shoot. Wink. I'm just kidding. Wink, no. wink, nudge, nudge, dab. To have an intro, outro, official outro. We'll, we'll, we're gonna see. Okay, it's your, your opinion, not ours. We don't want you guys to leave the channel because we're doing decisions that you hate. So, but yeah. It's like you'll like it, you know. And stuff like tutorials will be easier. It's like no long, you know, it the will. 7 3 tutorial that was like an hour and a half. The, in the new scale with the 7 3 we built, that could probably be cut down to maybe 30 minutes and stuff. And it's gonna be easier. You're gonna need less resources, you're gonna need less time. It makes everybody's life e easier. It's like the only person I officially know who's not exactly for, for this project, like I said, is Rowan, and that's it. So, yeah. Yeah, so, anyways, guys. Anyways, comment down below what the new airport you think is going to be. Also, comment down below what aircraft you want to see. Yeah, I, I have a lot of people commenting what you want. So, t just eh, give your thoughts, really. You, do you like the project? Do you not like the idea? What do you want to see from the project? Just give us your thoughts. Just, like, just, just like write a letter. Because, you know, we, we, Follow like, your dreams. we like your opinions, believe it or not. It's like, when we hear what you guys like and don't like, it actually helps and shapes what we do this. You guys don't like something, we'll, ch we'll try to change it. Because, again... This is not necessarily for me, it's more for the viewers. So yeah, but anyway, as our stereotypical conclusion, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Comment smack. below which one, which aircraft you want us to review for, for you guys mm -hmm. first. And all of that and everything. So, but once again, but everybody, once again, I'm Jordan. Go check out, oh, he's gone. Nope, I'm here. He is here now. Go check out Gamer Pig's channel, links in the description over here little pig go check them out in the description and anyway i'm jordan thanks for watching